So these are storage facilities for your raw materials for the products you're making here? Yes, yes. Very good. Yeah. Now, can you tell me why are they so big? The, the How much can they carry actually? Yeah, they are not big actually. This one, they can just carry about 1,000 kilos. Okay. So for all of them, for three of them, they can carry 3,000 uh, kilo, kilograms. Now, what is so special about them? I see something down there. Is that the way you do it is you take the stairs? Yes. And then you... And when we want to fill it, we have to use these stairs. And we fill it over there. There okay. is a big... A big lip, hole up there. Uh, lip over there. And then you fill it. And when we want to use this uh, uh, grain here, for the, for the first year, time we have to use this lock here because okay. if we use the down one they will come out all of them but if we use here it is easy to stop it and continue you can ah, just take here okay yeah. so when the tanks or reserves are all full yeah. you release from there yes and then and when you want to empty it you will release then you down go there okay very good yeah and uh how do you preserve your food here, or mm. the maize. Yeah. These tanks are very good ones because when we are preserving, we don't use any chemical. They okay. just reserve without using any chemical. That is what why we want these tanks. So primarily, no germs jump in there because of complete there is no air going in. Okay. So excellent. no, no anything can go there. Excellent. Yeah. So it is natural preservation. For sure. And as we are dealing with uh, natural food, we don't want to use any chemicals. That's fantastic. Okay, let's keep going and see what else we have here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can go inside here for this first room. Okay. All this, all this. Uh, um, Buildings you are seeing here are temp temporary buildings. Okay. Yeah. So your master plan is going to include these buildings, or are you going to bring them down and build another bigger plan? Yeah, later on, after putting on the, the master plan, what we have, we will see whether they can go out or they can remain. Okay, very good. Yeah. So can you walk us through about your process of production, probably from the beginning all the way to the end? Okay. So where do we start? We start from there. Okay. From, uh, after receiving our grains, we, we just receive them in form of these bags. And after filling those, those tanks there, the remaining ones, we just keep them here, of which we are going to start using them. Okay. So what sacks... What this is inside one here? This here is a finger millet. Okay. And this side we have uh, soya beans. Okay. These are ready for, we are now going to prepare them. And uh, the second stage is uh, uh, cleaning. So the grains come in not that clean, so no. you first start with uh, cleaning them. And yes. And where do we do the cleaning? We do the cleaning outside there. Okay. Maybe later you, you will go and see. But after cleaning and drying, mm -hmm. again, if we want to get a, a soya drink, okay. we used it to use this kitchen here. And to roast soya for making soya drink, we okay. use this kitchen here. And how is that? Are we doing? Oh, okay. Now, these are ready, ready for second stage of processing the maize to, to take them through this machine here to clear again if there is any dust or any whatever is inside. This machine is for clearing. Okay. So now we've cleaned with our hands, now our machine is trying to help us out. So 
so now here is millet so they're coming from the sacks we saw outside inside now excellent now once this is all cleaned up then what do we do Okay, so the soya kind of went the same process? The soya, actually they don't have sand. Uh, so much sand and small, small sands like that one. This one we can just use the sieve to clear out and then wash. So this is now cleaned? Yes. Finger made it. Yeah. Very good. How long does it stay here to, before it gets completely dry? Three days. So it dries up for three days? Yes. So what we see here is completed mixed grain, all the grains to bring us the nutritious flour. And once this is completed, as we've been told, it comes to this machine out here for grinding. And the grinding machine will completely grind it to become out like a... Maybe this one here can... Tell us what you use with. Can you explain a little bit how we're starting the process to build up these packages? They're kind of, they're very beautiful. Mm -hmm. First of all, we start from here. Polythene. This one okay. is, we used it to carry one kg. And we used it to bind them here with this machine. He is doing for one side. And then after binding that, mm -hmm. it, it, will, it will be through. And from okay. here, those who are putting inside, they can put flour through here. Okay. And after putting flour here, it, it looks like this one. Yeah. One kilo. One kilo. After okay. putting here, there is a process of putting in this cover. So how do we make these covers? It looks like it starts from back here. Yes, Like a yes. nice plain sheet of paper. Yeah. Nicely printed. We failed to get the bags. Okay. But what we did, we tried to measure our measurements which can carry one kg. Okay. And after measuring, we went to the printer. Okay. The printer, we asked him to put this uh, label like this. Okay. And after getting this from printer, we are now going to make our bags ourselves. Like okay. he is doing here. So that's a, just a plain log. Yes. Or oh, probably 4 by 2 Yes. Piece of wood. Of wood. That will help us to, to get this bag. To give you to the give you the corners. Yeah. And you glue it together. Yes, yes. That's very creative. That is how we, we try to come up with this bag without that um, thinking we could not do this. Now you okay. get the bag. Like that one. So now then, you have your bag. Yes. From here okay. now, mm -hmm. you can put... Yes. And they're all one kilogram each. Yeah. And Excellent. from there now, we can go to that one who is making the boxes for, for... Now, once you have them all packed up, mm -hmm. you're putting them in the box. Yes. Ready for shipping. Ready for shipping. And then you bind it and we come out with boxes like this one we see yes, here. Yes, yes, like this. Okay. Okay, that's the This is ready for ready to go to this to the shop, the wholesale store. Yes, yes, ready for sale.